In this video, I'm going to have a look and see if I can improve the tempo of my golf swing and get closer to that of the Tour Professionals. Now, historically, when I've had lessons, I've been told that my tempo is a little bit quick and in particular with my backswing. If you look at the advice online, and I've looked at lots of different videos and read articles on this, the advice is to look for and try to get a tempo of around about a ratio of around three to one, which is three times longer in the backswing than you are in the downswing. Now, personally, I think my backswing is quite quick and I know my downswing's fairly quick. So I think that ratio is going to be quite a bit lower. But what I want to do in this video is I want to analyze my golf swing as it is without hitting any balls. I'm just in the garden here and I want to get some data on it. And in particular to do with my swing ratio, my backswing speed and my downswing speed. And then what I want to do is I want to compare that with data obtained from some touring professionals and see if mine is that far off of their ratio or indeed the recommended three to one ratio. And if it is, I want to look at ways of improving my ratio to get closer to three to one. Now, in order for me to be able to accurately analyze my golf swing and in particular my swing ratio, I need some technology. And for this, I'm going to use the DeWiz golf swing analyzer. Now this is a product which I have recently got my hands on and it is incredible. It allows you to analyze so many different components of your golf swing so you can then take that data and look to make improvements. The great thing about this device is you can use it in the garden, you don't need to be hitting balls, you don't even need to actually be swinging a club to get some data about your golf swing or you can use it at the driving range or indeed on the golf course. It connects to an app via Bluetooth and I've got the app set up on my phone here. I'm capturing the screen and that's going to show you the data for each of my swings. Now you can do a heck of a lot with the DeWiz. In this video, we're just focusing on tempo, but there are lots of different elements that you can analyze and look to improve. And I have more videos on my YouTube channel. So if you want to check them out, go and have a look. Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be using this all throughout the winter to look at different elements with the DeWiz, different elements of my golf swing and where I can make improvements. If you want to find out more, you can hit the link in the description below and you can also find a handy 10 to 15% promo code there which can make you quite a substantial saving if you are interested in buying a DeWiz. So anyway let's first of all start off with making some golf swings so we can work out what my tempo is because I don't want to be guessing here I want to actually use some data. So we're going to make five swings with a five iron, an eight iron, a pitch and wedge and my driver, these are just going to be my normal golf swings, not hitting a ball, not worrying about any of the intricacies of my swing just wanting to purely capture some um, tempo data. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how my tempo data compares with that of some touring professionals. And then what we'll do is we'll look at how we can then use the DeWiz to fine tune our rhythm or tempo and try to get closer to those numbers that we're seeing from the professionals or the recommendations. So to start with, we are going to grab, grab some data with the five iron. So I'm going to go into practice your tempo. We've got the setup for the five iron already, and I'm simply going to make some swings and see if we can get some data. So I'll wait till the device lights up green. And I'm just making my normal golf swing. Tempo so that's one, we'll make five one. with each club. 2.1 to 1. 2.1 to 1. Just push that T back in a little bit. So let's get a couple more with this. 2.1 to 1. And one more with the 5 iron. Okay. Two to one. So we've made five swings there with the 5 iron. What I can now do is I can close this down. Let's look at the um, data here. So we have five swings. You can see there, my average is 2.1 to one for my ratio with a backswing duration of 0 0.69 seconds. So in terms of the ratio for that five iron, it's <laughs> the average really is to, you know, 2.1 to one there and backswing around about 0 0.7 downswing around about 0 0.3 seconds. Anyway, let's make some swings now with the eight iron. So we need to jump into here. Let's change this to the eight iron. 
and let's make some tempo swings here and then what we'll do is we'll do the same with the pitching wedge and then we'll do the same with the driver and we'll take a closer look at my data so let's do make some swings here with the eight iron tempo ratio two to one and what's really good is it actually bleeps two whenever it's recorded it one. you can see it on the app and um, the audio comes out to tell you basically the key metrics Two to one. Right, so now that we've captured the eight iron, let's move on to the pitching wedge here. So five swings with the pitching wedge. Okay, so that's five swings with the pitching wedge. Let's close this down. Let's drop this to the driver. And we'll finish off by making five swings with my driver. One. Okay, so that's us got five swings with each of the clubs. Now it's time to have a closer look at the um, data that we have obtained. So I'll grab my phone and this lets us see all of the swings. Now obviously you can change this by date. We're looking at today and we've got tempo there for five iron, eight iron, pitch match and driver. So the first thing I can see is if I look at them, they all have an average tempo ratio of either 2.1 to 1 or 2 to 1. So very, very close in terms of across the board, my tempo um, ratio. Now the backswing duration, very, very close, 0 0.69 average, 0 0.67. And what we can do here is we can tap and go in to the clubs and we can look. So we've got the pitching wedge here. Generally speaking, the downswing duration is pretty much around about 0 0.34, 0 0.3. Same with the five iron, you can see just going into that. So my swing is actually pretty consistent in terms of the backswing duration and the downswing duration. What I'd like you to do is jump into the comments and let me know just what you think the average would be for some touring professionals such as Henrik Stenson or Bryson DeChambeau. So what kind of tempo do you think that these touring professionals have? And then what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at their tempo and compare it with mine. Now you can do this on the web browser on your computer using the data on the DeWiz website but I'm going to just do it on my phone just to save a little bit of time. So let's jump into here and we can now look at insights for our swings that we've just captured. So I'm going to show only my data and then you'll see here if I just make sure there's no filters on. So we don't have any filters at the moment. Let's have a look at my insights. So first of all, my tempo ratio on average is 2.1 to 1. We can tap on the five iron here. So for those five swings, 2.09 to 1 8 iron 2.04 pitch wedge 2.09 so the same as the 5 iron and then my driver 2.04 to 1 what we can then do is we can scroll down and we can take a look at my backswing duration and how that changes per club so average there of the 5 iron 8 iron pitch and wedge and driver and then we can also see the um, downswing duration now what we can also do is we can go in and filter by club so let's have a look at the um, tempo here for my driver and you'll see that we can find, I think it'll, think it'll be the very top here, the tempo ratio is 2.1 for my driver and you can do that for your other clubs. But let's turn that filter off because what I want to do now is I want to see how I compare with some of these professionals. So first of all let's look at Bryson DeChambeau. So, as I said at the beginning, the DeWiz allows you to analyse so many different aspects of your golf swing and compare them with the professionals. But I am just interested here in my tempo. So my tempo ratio on average is 2.1 to 1, whereas Bryson's is a little bit lower than that 3 to 1 um, tempo that we, we talked about at the beginning. He's 2.39 to 1. And then you'll see here for his backswing duration, quite a bit quicker than mine, a tenth of a second quicker on average and his downswing is quite a lot quicker than mine, 0 0.25 seconds so I've got a slightly um, slower downswing. Now most professionals are going to have a pretty quick downswing and they're going to be hitting the ball 
miles further. That's an area that I could potentially explore to improve my um, distance with the clubs. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the filter to the driver, show results, and you'll see we can actually compare myself to Bryson here. So the tempo ratio with the driver, 2.44 to 1 for Bryson, 2.1 for me. If I go up and have a look at some of the other professionals, Henrik Stenson for example, you'll see that his tempo is 2.7 to 1 with the driver compared to my 2.1 and if I just take the filter off here then you'll see his is 2.69 to 1 compared to my 2.1 to 1 across the board and you can look at other players as well it allows you to look at Annika Sorsen and Vijay Singh interestingly Vijay Singh 2.51 to 1 so still a closer tempo to that 3 to 1 and a smoother tempo than mine but interestingly, his backswing duration is a lot slower than mine, but his downswing, unlike the other players who are probably that good bit younger, is actually bang on the same as mine on average. So if I wanted to match Vijay's tempo, then I'd be looking to increase the duration of my backswing. And that is what we're going to do next. So I'm going to jump back into the DeWiz. We're going to go into practice and learn for tempo. And there's a thing called learning stimuli. So what this allows you to do is if I turn this on, so we'll enable this, you can actually get a little kind of pulse sent to the device, which will give you a little zap to let you know when you're swinging if you are above or below your defined practice goals. So here for my driver and my tempo, I'm going to go into practice goals and I'm going to turn my minimum backswing duration on and I'm going to set this to around about 0.8 seconds. So that's quite a big jump in terms of duration from what I've been on. I'm going to leave my maximum duration off. So don't need anything for that. And then what I'm going to do is jump back into my practice here. Pop the phone back on the holder. And I'm going to make some swings for the driver. I'm purposely going to try and keep my downswing the same. But I'm going to slow that backswing. And what will happen is, audibly, I'll get a message on the app if I am too quick, and I'll also get a little bit of feedback on the device. So just to show you as an example, well, I'm just gonna do my same swing as before. And I've got a little shock here, and it beat to say, your backswing was too fast. So I actually had a quicker downswing tempo there. 2.4 ratio is going up, but, the uh, downswing was quicker. This time I'm purposely going to go slower on the backswing. We haven't set an upper limit, but as long as it is above 0.8 seconds, I think is what we set, then it should be okay and I shouldn't get a little mini shock. So I can just count in my head. And you'll hear that successful. So didn't get a little one. shock. 2.5 and we've now got a backswing up at 0.92 now if i increase that downswing slightly but keep the same length of the backswing we should be able to get up to closer to three to one so let's try that now and in my head i'm actually going to count one two three down okay 2.6 to so 2.6 to one That one 2 there, 2.3, so it's a little bit lower there. So I need to speed that downswing up, but slow the backswing. There we go, and we're at 2.7. So you can get the idea from this. We can really work on our golf swing. I can just come out to the garden here, and I can repeat this over the course of several days or several weeks to really work on that tempo. And I think with the learning stimuli there where we can set a desired maximum or minimum and just keep working away in all the clubs. And I love the fact that we've got, basically we can go in and we can have a look at all of the swings, we can get the average. So I can see in the space of 10 or 15 minutes, my driver, which was previously a two to one ratio of a backswing of 0 0.69 on average for five swings, is now a 2.5 to one with 0.83 seconds backswing. So we slowed that backswing down. Now where it says good swings, 80% versus the 100%, that's because we set a limit and one of those five swings 
was a poor swing and four of them we managed to get that backswing duration over the threshold but i'm really looking forward to using the dewez a little bit more throughout the winter period to work on my golf swing but i'd love you to drop a comment below to let me know more about your thoughts and opinions on this device so do you think it could do more harm than good with the golf swings do you think this kind of data is really useful and do you think it's the kind of thing that would appeal to you there are so many more things that we can do with the dewez I'm looking forward to creating more video content on it. So we're going to look at um, trying to cure my slice with it. We're going to look at um, the transition period. We're going to have a look at things that the device can do that are useful to general amateur golfers. Hopefully you did find this video useful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel so that you're notified about the future DeWiz videos that are released. Of course, if you want to find out more about it or if you want to buy one, and make a quite a considerable saving make sure you hit that link in the description below and be sure to copy that promo code to use at checkout but anyway thanks very much for watching this video and make sure you check out these videos if you enjoyed this video here